Hello, Boogles! For those of you who are new and just happen to like stumble upon this video, stumble upon my channel, um, I'm Jessica. I have a 14 month old uh, toddler baby. I don't know, I consider her my baby, but I'm guessing she's a toddler. Her name is Ella Rose. I have a 22 year old boyfriend. I have one dog named Lulu and one cat named Moo. So next Saturday, December 22nd, my family and I are going to Oklahoma to visit my boyfriend's family for the holidays. And I was thinking, why not make a video on tips and tricks on flying with a toddler? So, I have my little list here so that I wouldn't forget whatever I wrote down. P.S. You might be hearing her. She is outside the door and she wants to come in so bad. So I am not saying that this will work for every toddler, every baby. I have flown with her twice. She was younger the first time she was about like almost three months. The second time she was nine months and a half. So it was much easier in my opinion um, when she was younger because I was breastfeeding. So tip one, if you are breastfeeding, just put them on the boob. She was on the boob for about uh, a total of like four hours, but she was knocked out, she was comfortable. It helps whenever they swallow with their ears, not to hurt as much, and it kind of like distracts them from the whole like being in the plane. Whenever they do get fussy, I heard somebody say, give the baby to the dad, and um, if the father's around, and have the dad walk up and down the aisles because like, okay, so whenever they see a dad with a baby, it's like, oh, how cute, oh, it's okay. But whenever the baby's crying with the mom, everyone's, whenever the baby's crying with the mom, everyone's like, get your baby to be quiet, please. Another tip that I have is to, if you are still giving milk to your toddler, Throw, make some chamomile tea on the side. You can either mix it a little bit with the milk or you can just give them the chamomile tea, tea, chamomile tea with some honey. A little bit of lemon if you want, but I don't really recommend lemon because it is acidic. Chamomile tea, tea why do I keep saying tea? The chamomile tea will help them relax a little. Toddlers, have snacks ready, all types of snacks, fruits, and veggies, little puffs, little whatever that your toddler likes to eat snacks. Have a whole bunch of them, variety. <laughs> Maybe get one of those label toppers, I have a whole bunch of them. They have them at the Dollar Store, our Dollar Tree for $1, it is 10, 10 for $1, so go to Dollar Tree. Toddlers who are eating, they're busy. Do not run out of drinks. Milk, juice, water, anything. Don't run out. So if you are traveling with breast milk, you can travel through security with breast milk. So maybe whenever you pass through the security, you can get them juice, water, um, maybe bring a little container, a little bottle, instead of buying a water bottle and just you know, refill the water fountain at the water fountain, that's what I always do. Bring toys. Toys, toys, toys. Stuff to, you know, keep their mind off of it. With babies, you could bring like little rattler rattlers and the scrunching books. That's what I used to bring whenever she was younger. Toddlers. If you want, I don't know, it depends on you if you're a tablet kind of person, bring a tablet so they can play some games. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my MacBook and I'm going to bring Baby Einstein. You can have Wi-Fi on the plane if you want. You can pay for it, depending on the airline. I'm pretty sure all airlines have Wi-Fi now. You can either pay for the Wi-Fi or maybe if you have a CD insert or you can buy the one that comes on the side, just bring movies, that, educational movies that they like. I'm gonna be making her watch Baby Einstein because she loves Baby Einstein. I'm gonna be bringing Berenstein Bears, I uh, have like a strawberry shortcake movie, you know, just for that ride. I usually don't like making her watch too much TV, but just for the plane, it'll do. Do not forget extra clothes. And I know it sounds like, duh, Jessica, what do you think? I'm gonna forget some extra clothes. No, I'm talking about bring extra clothes, especially if you have a younger baby, they may, you know, have a blowout, they might throw up, anything, anything can happen. <laughs> You might spill juice, milk, leave their shirts wet, bring, I'm thinking like three extra shirts and like two extra pants. And if your flight got gets delayed, you have extra clothes. Bring an extra shirt for you as well in case the baby burps up on you or, you know, blowout gets on you or anything, you know. It's just always good to have, maybe have one or two extra shirts for yourself, maybe for dad as well. Do not overthink diaper count. You know, like I said, you might have 
an overlay that gets delayed or your flight just might get delayed and what if you know god forbid there is no diapers at the little little store then you have no diapers so i say bring you know as many diapers as because every child is different as many diapers as you think should and then maybe like six more it's always better to have more than not enough you know what i'm saying also bring maybe their favorite blanket, their favorite teddy bear, just so they feel a little bit more at home with you. Because the plane, they don't really know where they are. It's kind of scary, you're up in the air. Especially if a toddler, then they have a little bit more of a conscious of what's going on, there's a lot of people. So yeah, a little blanket that they really like or a specific, specific toy or whatever it is, you know? Have them hold on to it. Whenever it's been maybe like, you know, 45 minutes that you're sitting down, your toddler might get a little bit like antsy. Just walk around with them, it's okay. You're allowed to bring them to the bathroom, bring them to the front, bring them to the back, around, you know. Pretty sure to make people feel great. <coughs> if you wanna be extra, you can get one of those little neck things. They have them at, I don't know where you guys are from, but they have them at Ross or Burlington or Target or whatever. Ross and Burlington are probably like four or five dollars. Comes a little neck thing, like for children, so it's smaller, probably with a little teddy bear or blanket. But just try to make your child as comfortable as possible in that uncomfortable space because it is not comfortable in a plane. I'm not comfortable on a plane. I can only imagine how uncomfortable they are. Whenever you have a younger child, it's a little bit better because you get to like hold them and cradle them and they just get to sleep in your arms. Oh my God, I remember when she was little. She just slept in my arms for four hours. It was so beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at my lips, guys. My lips have been so chapped for like six days. So I gotta change my chapstick, maybe at Burt's Bees or Nivea. Comment down below the kind of chapstick you use. Also, comment down below if you have any tips or tricks for any mamas or dadas out there who, you know, need the tips and tricks. So like I did mention before, I will be traveling with Ella next Saturday. So I'll be trying all these tips that I told you today. And I'm going to be making a vlog on the reality of traveling with a toddler. Because I feel like everybody posts all the beautiful, you know, videos of the child smiling and laughing through the airport, but nobody films, you know, the backstage of the vlog, you know, the crying, the I'm hungry, the I'm thirsty, the I want to stand up, I want to walk around. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and watching this video. I hope it helps a little bit. Even if one trick can help, then I'm happy. So comment down below any tips or tricks that you have that you want to give to somebody else and comment down below the kind of chapstick that you use and if it works really well. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the little alert button because we are doing Vlogmas and we post every day so that you won't miss a video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Bye!